The Legend of Dirty Joe and Internet Marketing Truth. Yes, an article inspired from a movie called Joe Dirt. Most of us have seen this crazy movie that depicts the story of a man who was left by his parents at the Grand Canyon in a trash can digging for a can of skull. As far fetched as this may be, we all have a little Joe inside us. So sit back, read, and enjoy the legend of all of us little Joe Dirts. We go through our sometimes short careers as internet marketers with a single goal to find out where our cash market is oftentimes not having a plan and just waiting for some meteor to fall from the sky to change our luck. Sometimes that meteor comes in the form of a big OL chunk of poopy. With all the gimmicks and tricks that people promote and the systems people promote, there is a lot of crap and when we think we have something good we toted behind us until one day curiosity gets the best of us and we finally seek the value of what we carry only to find out we have been eating off a big hunk of crap. Fortunately, this leads to more whacked-out pursuits and adventures that get us one step closer to the truth each time we get distracted thinking we are in a safe zone to find we just got bombed with insecticides, leading to another dead-end pursuit of the truth. So now the pride starts to diminish and we seek to hire an outside source and what better than an Indian tracker. Only if that tracker isn't as clueless as you, lol. So we've created a network of people to help outsource our goals, from the janitor of a school, to an Indian tracker and even from a shady fellow named Buffalo Bob, to find the road that leads to our ultimate goal of finding the truth and success we seek. Along the way, we are confronted with people who don't want us to succeed, who want us to fail for whatever reasons they carried, it can be family who just don't get it and because you are different they leave you behind, it can be the Robbies of this world who are jealous and threatened because you have something they can't get, whatever the reason, there are people that will seek your destruction, after the crazy adventures and paths we take, the dust begins to settle and things come into focus as truth will eventually be found by the persistence of the one who seeks it. Sometimes though the truth isn't always what it seems, and when we find it we are oftentimes disappointed and it isn't all what we made it out to be and end up finding out that pursuing a certain goal was wrong and we've wasted hours, days, months, and sometimes even years and so enters the point of choice. Do we throw in the towel? Or do we re-examine our position in life? Sometimes we are fortunate to have the answer given to us, before we jump off the bridge and give up. For many of us, we already have our home, or our brandies of the world, but never realize it until it's almost too late. So ask yourself, is it time to re-examine what you have in your business? And what is it that you really have? You most likely have something great, but just don't see it and during your pursuits, can you have the ever optimistic outlook, life's a garden dig it or keep on keeping on? If you can examine your business model, pinpoint your strengths and weaknesses and find those who would be mutually beneficial to network with you would realize that what you have is better than what you think and the grass only gets green if you water it and tend it with care as very seldom is the grass greener on the other side and the only way to truly rise above your current station in life is to learn how to play the hand you are dealt effectively and this is just an internet marketing. Truth, stay strong and stick with the game. If you finish the race and not get distracted by the junk out there, you will find what you are looking for.